All right, it's about 6.30 in the morning. After my first night at Big Ben, I'm brewing some delicious coffee. And then I take my coffee, go sit outside and watch the sunrise. I didn't run the air conditioning last night, so my battery, yeah, 94 point something percent. So it's a wonderful breeze. Very, very nice here. Very peaceful. So we'll get a view of the sunrise. So we have Pummel Peak, which is over 6,600 feet. We have uh, Panther Peak, and you might be able to see the Desert Research Station I drove past. Um, nobody was there yesterday. Then over here, we have Panther Junction, and... Um, Right over in there somewhere is a ranger station. That's where you would go to um, get your backcountry permit and uh, reserve your spot. All reservations are done in person. And um, you basically look at a map and reserve the spot you would like. And it's $12 flat fee for up to 14 days. Doesn't matter if you stay one day or 14 days, it's $12. And uh, you reserve your site. This site is called KB2. And so you reserve the site, and it's your site. Nobody else will be pulling up next to you. And uh, very nice. So I'm going to be driving today up about 2,000 feet in elevation and we'll be hiking right behind Panther Mountain, right over there. All right, I'm on the back side of Panther Mountain, hiking up the trail. It's beautiful. Starting to get up in some altitude now. Making the summit. Look at this trail. It's got to be a donkey. It looks too small to be a horse. Guess that's a donkey coming up this trail. Pretty tight fit for a full size horse. Very 
there is the visitor center. And right down there is the solar camper van. Can you see it? It's really shaky zoomed all that way, but that's where I came from. Still climbing. Ah, oh, nice rock to take a seat. Ah, drink some water. Oh. Ah, what a view. All right, break time is over. Onwards and upwards. What a change from the desert floor to this. Up in altitude, a whole different ecosystem up here. Closer and closer. We're up here pretty high now with the pines. But we're going to go up even higher. All right, so now on the side that is facing our camp spot. Came up the back side and camp spot is down there in the valley. KB2 is down there in the valley somewhere. Try to get a better view of it, but we're still going up, still heading up. All right, we're up here pretty high now. Um, you can see There's that peak we can see from the campsite. And the campsite, K2, is like right over in there. Way out there. There's a valley right in there somewhere. So, yep. We're going to keep, we're actually going to keep going higher. We're going all the way up. Emory Peak, right up in there. All right, we're at the highest peak in the park. van is down there. That's where I parked it. They've actually got solar panels up here, but the, uh, the campsite is right over there. It's on the other side of that peak. KB2 campsite is right over in there. So drove the van from that campsite over to that ranger station and hiked up here. Last hundred yards of this hike are pretty treacherous. But this is it. peak. They've got some solar panels over there too. And there's the view. It's campsite again. Way over in there. Down on the desert floor. 
And that's Panther Peak over there. They've got a, an array of solar panels up here, powering up some of this equipment, these antennas. Panel over there too. All right, the way down and the way up is right down this way, down towards that little tree right there. Video probably doesn't do it justice, but it's a steep climb up and down. Looks like there's a couple people climbing that peak right over there. work our way down. Nice place to sit and have lunch up here. <laughs> you looking for the marker? Yeah, it's the marker's actually right over here. <laughs> Work our way down here. You said it's over down there? Yeah, uh, I saw some people go up a different way, but I kind of went around this way. It wasn't bad. It wasn't too bad. It's a little treacherous in a couple spots. <laughs> All right, I gotta put the phone down for this section right here, or the uh, camera down. It's a little hairy. I'm doing real well. There's an aggressive squirrel up here, so if you leave your pack laying around, you might want to okay. hang your pack up in a tree. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where he went, but he'll come right up. He's not afraid. I said, I don't want to climb up there and have a squirrel chew through my yeah, pack. For sure. That would suck. Let me tell you, coming back down, see we were right there at the solar panels, coming back down is a lot easier, it's a lot easier than going up. Still hiking down, you know it's funny that I never, never noticed these solar panels I never noticed those solar panels on the way up here, not until I got almost up to them. But you can see that's where we just were. And uh, didn't notice them until I got up close to them, the solar panels up there. Anyway, so we got a long hike ahead of us, heading down. All right, we made it back down to the van, <laughs> the visitor center and ranger station. It's down here. but. Uh, can you see the solar panels? Uh, I can't see them through the viewfinder, but they should be hanging there somewhere. Anyway, uh, that was, uh, it's only 10 miles round trip, but it's a pretty strenuous hike, especially getting towards the top.
It was about six and a half hours total. With, uh, that's what we're spending some time at the top. I went ahead and put a tent up uh, just to store extra gear. The van's not as crowded. I'm going to be here for a week. So just a place to store some things. Um, here's another advantage of being out in the middle of nowhere camping by yourself is uh, <laughs> I'm getting ready to take a shower, you know, with the shower hook here. And uh, we're getting ready to do this in the buff because <laughs> this is the first time I've been able to take a shower without the shower tent, um, which will be nice. I don't have to put up, the shower tent's easy to put up, but there's no reason to put the shower tent up out here. Um, so, that'd be nice. First time showering without the shower tent out here at Big Bend National Park. All right. Well, it's the end of an awesome day out here, awesome day of hiking, and there is nothing like being able to take you know, a hot shower every day, a nice hot shower, especially out here in the middle of nowhere in the desert. Um, this tank is 35 gallons, and it also happens to be 35 inches tall, so each inch represents about a gallon of water. So what I do is I just kind of mark it, I actually mark it on here, and then um, measure it. So I used uh, four gallons of water, to get this tape you know I used about four gallons of water there and uh, that's um, you know that's take uses a lot of water a shower uses water and uh, that's a quick two minute shower um, but you know water is critical out here and um, I had to, all, to do all over again. I probably would have tried to get a bigger water tank in here. So I do like to be able to take a shower every day, a nice hot shower. And um, we'll be cutting it close here. Um, we haven't even, uh, well, we've been here one full day. Got here yesterday, late afternoon. So it's uh, been one full day. We've got another six full days to go. So. Um, you know, and then using it to uh, wash up and to drink. This is drinking water, washing, brushing your teeth, everything. So just a little tip. If I had to do it all over again, I would try to get more fresh water. That's one thing that's going to go out of an awesome place like this is, um, you know, running out of water. You've got to find, you've got to get water somewhere. So anyway, that's all. And I do carry... Of course, a fire extinguisher, but I carry a six gallon jug just for emergency purposes. If for some reason, um, you know, the water tank uh, started leaking water overnight, all the water dumped out the back of the van, who knows? The hose started leaking, the pump leaked out. Uh, at least I would have six gallons of emergency water there. So, anyway, um, yeah, water is one of those big issues. Oh, and here's the biggest news. Today, the first full day at Big Bend Park, and we broke the all-time record for the yield for kilowatt hours. It was 3.36, I think. And today, first full day at Big Bend was 3.43. So we almost broke the record yesterday. Um, 3.19 but uh today we definitely broke it so solar is good here in southwest texas as you can imagine in the middle of the desert so uh that's the news we'll see what we do tomorrow it was cloudy today too Those clouds were rolling through so that's awesome anyway that's all